Hey everyone, this is Jeff from Metal Guy Reacts, back to bring you another reaction video. Today I'm checking out a tune that came so highly recommended by a ton of my subscribers. This is Home Free doing Brothers in Arms. Now, this tune, if I remember right, uh, is very, very heavy. Like, it's just, it's a super, super duper heavy song. And again, if uh, I think it's Dire Straits was who originally did it. So I believe, I, like from what I'm seeing here, this is probably a cover of that. Uh, if not, maybe it's their own sort of take on things. I have not heard the Dire Straits one in a long time, so I don't even know if I could, if I could compare. Um, but anyway, very excited to check this out. I Again, I'm assuming it's about uh, military and respect for those that have served. And for anyone watching, if you have served, thank you so much for your service. I have family members that have. And yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's check this out. I've heard again, it's a heavy tune. So if that's not your jam, uh, check out one of my other videos. Uh, but yeah, let's dive right into this. This is Home Free doing Brothers in Arms. of destruction baptisms of fire I've witnessed your suffering as the battles raged high well obviously Tim started off absolutely beautiful and low and stayed there and chance is now jumping in and just sounds amazing people said this was going to wrench my heart out and this was going to be a tough one to to just cruise through so it's hypnotizing me already as the battles raged high and though they did hurt me so bad in the fear and Desert me, my brothers in arms. There's so many. What was that note that Tim just hit? That was insane. I gotta turn that up. There's so many different worlds. So many different suns. And we have just one world. But we live in different ones.
the sun's gone to hell And the moon's riding high Let me bid you farewell Every man has to die But it's written in the starlight to make war on our brothers in arms Man, that was absolutely stunningly beautiful and somber and sad. And I guess I, I didn't really remember much of the Dire Straits song at all. As a random side note to start, if you guys are wondering like now, like I, I, I'm realizing this might not be the best shirt to be wearing, but this says death to unit. But just in case anybody asks, my shirt says death to unit haskers. It's a thing from uh, Alton Brown's Good Eats, the TV show talking about unit haskers. But yeah, I didn't even think of that. Like, with talking about death and war and all that stuff, maybe not the best shirt choice. But again, this is a this has to do with something much different. So much, much different. So anyone that watches Elton Brown knows. Anywho, this song is so unbelievably heavy. And again, I didn't really remember much of the Dire Straits piece. I mean, this is talking about soldiers and war and humans and death and 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 how senseless war is to fight against one another and calling everyone brothers in arms when they mean everyone they mean literally all people on earth everyone did amazing in this i mean obviously tim that low note that he sustained but then also just basically con continually singing as low as he did through this entire piece was just absolutely stunning uh and then chance came out and did a number of the lead lines as well and it just the harmonies, and this is when I when I really get to say what I think drags your heart and splits your heart into a thousand pieces were those harmonies. They were so gorgeous, so beautiful, and just thick and rich and heart melting. I mean, I had to re sort of repeatedly try and keep my composure because the subject matter is so unbelievably heavy and they were doing such good justice to the lyrics of this song and what they're about because anyone i mean any i think everyone would agree that war is just so horrible and so senseless and and awful and you know i think yeah it was a call to be brothers in arms across countries and across the world and it's a weird side note but one of the things i thought that was kind of interesting about uh sort of uniting the earth all together was if you remember a long time ago i think it was ronald reagan who was making a speech talking about you know and he got to a part of a speech where he's talking about unity uh in front of uh, a crowd of some type and he started talking about how uh the thing that it would take to unite the entire world would be a common enemy from the skies. So, you know, if, if aliens invaded and started fighting humans, we would band together as the human race in a heartbeat and all wars between us would stop and we would fight this common en enemy. And a whole bunch of people took that as there's aliens. He knows there's aliens and completely missed the point of what he was talking about. And I think this calls to that too. It calls for unity and, and the understanding that war is this horrible, horrible, horrible thing. And so many people have needlessly died for these things. And war is so tough too, because there, I mean, I, I always say this to people too, that we say that war or some people say like war is always awful and it is. And then there's also times too, that people have gone to war to stop an evil force so unfortunately uh, in some humans is this evil and so you know different countries getting involved in world war ii to stop germany from what they were doing was definitely necessary and it was a good thing to stop them 
So it's just, it, you know, so obviously war is horrible and you have, but you still have to stop people who do horrible things. So it's the only reason to ever go to war, but it just sucks that humans for some reason have been doing this for so long. So they absolutely did justice to this tune. It's so heartbreaking and heavy and they just did an amazing, amazing job. Thank you guys so much for this recommendation, but you were absolutely right. Everybody said it's heavy. It's going to weigh on your shoulders like a thousand pounds of weight and it totally does. Those harmonies just split my heart so like into so many pieces. Just so, so good. So thank you guys so much again. And uh, if you get a quick second, please subscribe to my channel. I'm checking out Home Free, other singing groups, all sorts of great stuff. You guys have been making so many amazing recommendations. So I'm just so excited to continue listening to music and analyzing music with you guys. Just such a blast. So thank you so much. And I will catch you in my next reaction video.